strong republic I like Kong. Speaking your truth on the mic Kong. Hit the subscribe and like Time to Kong-Kaz. Welcome back, Conquerors. It's going to be another great episode, as we always promise it is. We have Mr. DJ Nova behind the camera and on the audio. And then we have my co-host right here, Mr. Kirshen Moodley, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, yeah. Welcome back, Conquerors. We are joined by the one and only, a DJ, a multi-platinum selling producer, a professionalist, Mr. TJ. Mr. TJ. Yeah. Welcome, 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 welcome to Kong so Republic. Welcome yeah. to Kong Republic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Definitely. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, TJ, we're actually going to get to knowing you a little better, man. You know, get your yeah. fans knowing you a little bit better. Yeah. You know, the man behind the music, right? <laughs> so we want to know, yeah, the first question. What is your real name, man? Uh, my real name. Yeah, <laughs> full name, <laughs> government name, the one on your ID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my real name is yeah. Jabu. Jabu. But I have like two names. Some they know me as Tabang. Right. And then some they know me as Jabu, hence the TJ. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. Because now, I think when I was in Teshar, I was using Jabu. Right. But when I was in high school, I was using Tabang. Ta- oh, yeah. Okay. So sometimes, yeah, yeah, when you meet someone and they'll say, nah, this guy's not Jao, it's Tabang. Because they use, <laughs> I used to, you know, go to high school with mm. them. Yeah, so yeah. it's something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, my real name from the ID, it's Jabulani. 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 Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Nah, your fans, do you think they knew that? <laughs> no. <laughs> because because we know. couldn't find any of them. No, we couldn't find any yeah. of them. Yeah. Well, now we know. Now right? we know now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. So when do you think this all started? Like, how did this whole start? Like, your story, NJ, you getting here, you mm, know? The, mu- the music, Jenny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I started doing music when I was young. Okay, anyway, I'm from a family that loves music, music by yeah. the way, yeah. So my grandfather would sing, and then yeah. aunties, they are there, they would join as well. It's a choir at home, you understand? Right. Yeah, and then in primary school, I used to be a soloist in one of the choirs. Right. And then I joined a choir, a professional choir as well. And oh, then so I, you can sing? Yeah, but choral though. Choral, yeah, oh, not, okay, okay. not like those. Uh, <laughs> I pitch so, Mariah Carey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chris Brownway. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Chris Brownway. Is it? Yeah, so I started, yeah. I started uh, singing around, I think I was 12, yeah. 12, 13. Then around 14 years now, I was a, I was a conductor at some point, sure. by the way. Yeah, a conductor of a choir. Yeah. And then I used to also compose, write songs for the choir and everything. Up until I started professionally with Bushi. Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay, I okay. discovered Bushi yeah, and then I started professionally working with Bushi. Yeah. Professionally, I started 2016. Yeah. Yeah, we were doing Afro pop, Afro soul, Afro mm. beat. Oh, okay. And around that time, well, it was Afro beats. Afro so beats. we had to, like, yeah, try and jump on Afro beats. And then as time goes on, we. <laughs> Lord <laughs> have <laughs> Yeah, I know. For you to be sitting in this seat right now, it's a long journey. Yeah, though, I'm a, sure, a, lot, yeah. a lot happened. Yeah, a lot from, happened. Like, yeah. A lot happened from there. Uh, I used right. to write songs, understand? Sure. So mm. now I needed to start learning the FL studio, how it works, yeah. how to operate mm. it and everything. Right. So there was a guy called Top Music. Yeah. Yeah. So I started going to that guy, having a lot of sessions with him, producing with him. Sure. Yeah. At some point I would produce a beat and I would think, yeah, this beat is the one. Yeah. You know when you produce yeah, you're yeah, constantly yeah. hearing mm. something over and over. And you end up thinking it's the hit. So I went to him, I was like, Yeah, bro, listen to this. And that beat was wet. <laughs> <laughs> was bad, bad, bad. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So like he, he he showed me some few stuff, tricks to say, nah, you, you have a point, you have, I can see your idea, but I feel like you just need to understand yeah. how FL Studio works so that you can write a song the way you want it. Sure. This is how you can, you know, mm. he started showing mm. me a few stuff and yeah. then... 
Yeah, from there. Sorry, who is this? Who, who told talk, you? Talk Music. Talk Music. Yeah. Shout out to Talk Music. Shout out. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. Right. So from there, I started now producing for Bushi. While, while he was like, while I was learning, yeah. I was also producing for Bushi at right. the time. Yeah. So for Bushi, I would produce, also help in writing. Yeah. Yeah, and she at the time I don't wanna lie, I learned a lot from her as well. Yeah. Mm. Because now in music, you know, you never stop learning. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So my yeah. journey with her started twenty sixteen and then it ended twenty nineteen. Yeah. Uh twenty nineteen, then I started no, nah, not twenty nineteen, I'm lying. Twenty twenty nineteen I, I I released a song with her and Tagzin is well okay. long. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was okay. also one of the biggest. So that's where actually I saw with you know and Yeah, you have something. Mm. Have mm. Something mm. Yeah. 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 And then we dropped me Meza mm. and then as time goes on, uh okay, I, I produced an EP for Bushi. Sure. You know, I decided let me do I'm a piano E P for Bushi. And by the way, on the piano side I was not that good because I used to produce Afro mm. in the sure. house. Sure. So I needed to learn the piano yeah. size mm. and yeah. which Tagzin was there. Uh, such a nice dude, anyway. Yeah. So he was there. He started helping me, showing me. I like learning a lot. Yeah. Mm. So mm. he was like, nah, this is how you do it. This is how you tune your lock drum. This is how, these are the elements. These are the shakers. What sure. I was like, oh, okay, nah, okay. Simple sure, so now. you were with Ubushi at like the beginning of her. Yeah, the I started. Of her I started with her. Oh, she's gone zero. now. Too. Yeah, now she's gone, and I'm happy for her. Yeah, she's man. doing amazing things. Yeah. Yeah. No, Shout but, out but, to Ubushi too, yeah. man. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, like uh, TJ, tell us uh, as a successful producer. So, what does yeah. it take to make it in the industry, specifically in South Africa, <clears throat> as a producer? Mm. I think hard work. Mm. Yeah. You know, sometimes hard work beats talent. Mm. You might find that there's someone who's talented. They just go to a FL studio once a week. Mm. Right. You understand? But when I, if you are, a, you are a hard worker, obviously you're going to catch up. Mm. Maybe by Friday, from Monday to Friday, if Mina, I know myself, I'm dope and I'm not a hard worker. Yeah. I'm just going to go on a Wednesday, mm. decide and say, let me do a hit. I sure. do a hit. I know mm. I'm dope. Mm. You understand? Yeah. But if I know that I'm not dope, I'm a hard worker. Therefore, I need to work from Monday to Friday. Right. Yeah. Maybe have like 10 beats yeah, yeah. and then listen and decide which one is the... So, yeah. so you spend the actual hours refining, refining, yeah, refining... Yeah, most to, to of my lives, a lot of people, they know, they will tell you that yeah. this guy does not sleep. Yeah. <sighs> Always hungry for the game. And I think maybe that's why I have a lot of songs mm. out there now. Because professionally, I started last year. Mm. Yeah. You understand? Now I started last year after leaving Bushe, February, I, I went solo. Yeah. Then that's when I I dropped some Soko ah, okay. Then after some Soko and then the other hits it's also came through. came through. Yeah. Yeah. And that does hell in style. Yeah, you're just dabbling, <laughs> Jay. You know, of all the other yeah. genres in, in the industry or any other genre in music, is yeah. there anyone that you're interested in producing and like experimenting with? Vocally, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a lot of people, especially like people like Ami Faku. Yeah. Yo, yeah, Amifaku, Amifaku, I feel like she's she's amazing. But that's so mm. mm. yeah, she's Tetic amazing, soul, and yeah. I feel like with the sound that I'm doing, I I I think I would produce something dope. Yeah, yeah, it's Amifaku. There's a, there's quite a lot though. Yeah, yeah, it's Amifaku. See me, see me. She's yeah. also dope. And then on the male side, so that Bangati. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. There's well, yes, too many. There's too, is, too little. Worked, of I've worked yeah. with Cedril, and thing is, yeah. when you work with Trill, ne. Yeah. Already you're gonna be condemned mm. okay. because he's giving you something that you think okay, no one has this. Yeah, mm. you understand? Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. unique and you can even feel that there's talent in what whatever that he's giving sure. you. So if I'm gonna have to find another male vocalist, not a rapper though, because I still have Rasco. Yeah. Not a rapper. Yeah, yeah, Rasco yeah, yeah. is a rapper, yeah. Someone who sings. Sure. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a bit difficult. Maybe Tali Wong. I think Tali Wong. Mm. But yeah. he's also but the same line. But those are just not yeah. producing. Or he's producing. also the same line. Okay, producing. Yeah. I think it's Soa. Yeah. Mm. Soa Matrix. Yeah. That boy. Respect, eh? Yo. <laughs> shout out, shout out. Yeah, yeah. shout out straight. Yeah. 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 Soa Matrix will show you flames. Yeah. You know flames. Yeah. 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 I've been in studio with them a couple of times and. Uh, and the nicest thing here is a dope personality. Sure. Mm. You know, people like him, I feel like they should be boosting about 
their egos and yeah. whatever, mm. but like he has a very dope personality. Down to earth. Yeah, and yeah. you learn a lot. Mm. Yeah. You learn a lot because he will. He always actually shows me something new whenever we produce. Yeah, TJ, do you know this? Ba, 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 ba. And now I'm like, really? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's it's quite interesting you saying that, sir, because you're a producer. It's hard to show a yeah. producer a few a few yeah. new tricks, especially yeah. such a uh, you know recognized producer like yourself, sir. Yeah. But you know. You know, having the year and the skill set and now the rep to go with it. Yeah. In in the history of South African music, who would you say is a producer that really stands out and inspires you? Mm. Yeah, it doesn't need to be relevant Yeah, today. it doesn't yeah. have to be now, you know. Because you know the tricky part with me, ne? Yeah. Mm. I don't listen to music. Really? It's just your stuff? Even my music, I, I would play maybe there and there, but I hardly listen. I like movies. Yeah. Really? I also like movies. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I don't watch, I don't listen to music. I only watch movies. Yeah. Yeah, but whenever I produce, maybe let's, let's just say I'm going to have a studio session in two days to yeah. come. Yeah, maybe I'll relax. And then, so that I, I'm, I have this feeling that I have yeah. when I produce, because I like producing with the feel. Sure. Mm. Mm. But, eh, producer-wise, no I think I'm a pori, uh, Pori, no? Yeah, you know yeah. why? Why? Uh, pori leaves a room for for the other producer. Yeah. Mm. Hence, you will see, you. it's, 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 it's going to be very rare for you to find a song that says pori alone. Sure. Mm. You understand? Sure. And I feel like he's more like a team player for me. Right. You understand? Right. He also has a room for the other producer. As yeah. much as you know you dope, you can do the song alone. Sure. But just for, for you to sit down and say, but if I can add subs at home, mm, yeah. so, mm, right. this song is going to explode even more. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So I think, I think for me, Pori, and he's done so well for himself. Yeah. You yeah, yo. Well, and for, and for others. You know yeah. what I love about Amo Piano? There's, there's like enough room for everybody there. yeah mm -hmm. you know yeah. there's, 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 there's no there's no like oh let's keep this guy yeah. away or yeah. keep that. And, nah. I mean, and there's always a new talent mm. Yeah. Mm. Piano. next week you might find there's a new <laughs> boy out there he's yeah, taking yeah. the charts yeah. <laughs> every week in yeah. you know there's somebody or someone yeah. coming through with something and i feel like yeah. my piano has changed a lot of a lot of things in the music industry in Com but but i was just looking well you were telling me yesterday that yeah. uh, uh, our neighbors are actually going to Co uh, Coachella to play. Oh, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Durban Coco and, uh, and Major League DJs. Major going yeah. to Coachella. Yeah. To Coachella. Imagine, yeah. Now, this That's is, I'm a piano. Crazy, I mean, yeah. like, and he's rapping all over the world. And Coachella is, like, the I mean, the like, Drake party. just followed um, Uncle Waffle. Well, Waffle, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Unbelievable. Like, come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's crazy. I understand. Yeah. So, I think, um, I think I'm a piano, it's... it's it's a very good platform for a new talent yeah. and for, for especially for us as black people. Mm. You understand? Because we were not we were not exposed to this market for a very long time. Yeah. Look at the story Saga Brenda Farsi. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So mm. at least now it's more like you have you have options. Mm. Sure. It's unlike mm. they're gonna say you have only one way and the only one way is this mm. through yeah. this contract. Yeah. Sign here and then mm. you understand. Yeah. So we, we were actually exposed to a lot of things. Like, I, I never knew that there was a uh, licensing deal, publisher, yeah. you know, yeah, all, all those things. things. Yeah, yeah, like, we, we yeah. never thought Guti would be exposed to such. But yeah. today, here we are, you know, yeah. with the little insight that we have. It's been a crazy journey. It has that? been a crazy yes, journey. Yes. But, but, <laughs> but talking about uh, a crazy uh, journey, yeah. you had the chance to be in studio um with uh, mpura yeah and yeah, yeah, uh, rest yeah. in peace but yeah, like how was that experience uh, like oh, working with him and 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 actually creating magic with him mm. yo guys you know mpura i don't wanna lie. i remember when we made Yinista, mm. Mm. Uh, so what happened was there was this other guy now his key came to us and he was like okay boys you know what i want to take you guys out to Devon so that we just distress you've been overworking yourself blah 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 because me and Tugsin were busy working on the on the album mm. sure. so i was like nah instead of us going to Devon just to have fun mm, how yeah. about we take studio equipment yeah and plus at the time i was i was having uh I chat with Nko Sazan. Sure. Yeah, I was I was talking with Nko Sazan. I just discovered Nko Sazan on Instagram, sure. and I'm excited. Hey, when are you discovering <laughs> all these <laughs> talents? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think maybe 
Unkulunkulung velo wangzulu kulung wang nigga in levels of wooding is with talent. talent. Sure, because sure. I can pick up talent yeah. from a young age. Mm. Yeah. You understand? So I was like, and I was fortunate because she responded, and me and her we were having just a nice vibe on the DMs, yeah. from DMs mm. to WhatsApp. So I said, nah, let me just take this, let, let's rather take studio equipment, go to Devon, sure. put studio equipment. Mm. But when we get there, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah. the guys that did not even tip them enough to say, nah, I already have someone on that side. Sure. Mm. Sharp. So we took studio equipment inside the bus, we traveled to Devon. So when we got to Devon, Kosazana arrived, and mm. we were booked at the nice place. Because when you open the the balcony there, there's the beach. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Views, nice. yeah, yeah, it's a different views. feeling from where we were. Sure, you know, sure. So I then we decided and say, nah, let's call Cetril. Yeah, call Cetril. Cetril, can we fly you to come to Devon, bruh? We are recording, we're having a studio session. We never even called it a studio tour. Sure. It was like, nah, a studio session. Sure. So Trill was like, nah, my boy, it's fine. Just book me a flight, then I'm going to come. Okay, sharp. Yeah. Then while we were sitting, we, we started producing the beat. Mm, sure. It was Tugzin, Mosco, and me. Started producing the beat, and Tugzin as well. Started producing the beat, producing. So while we're producing, now we have ideas. Mm, yeah. Now we can hear Mpora on the on the beat. Right, yeah, right. because already in Kosazana, already she had laced like an intro. Sure. Da, da, na, na, na. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Trill came through. And I remember Unistar, you know the story for Unistar where it's very funny. Yeah. Trill landed around 12, I think. And we were looking for our car. Midnight. Nah. <laughs> oh, 12 <laughs> midday. Oh, okay, yeah. sure. So we were looking for alcohol and we couldn't find alcohol. Yeah. At 12 during <laughs> the day. day? Yeah. In Durban. <laughs> Come on, it was lockdown. <laughs> oh, is it lockdown? Yeah, oh, it was lockdown. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't want to okay. say it that it, it was, was lockdown. lockdown. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now we know all now. Yeah, now we know. Like. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. We, we were actually looking for alcohol. Sure. So why we looked, we looked. And you know in Devon they will tell you, I just go, there's go, this yeah. alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I get there, it's closed, brah. Yeah. And now the studio session is gonna suck without hardly without uh, alcohol. alcohol. Sure. Mm. Yeah, well, sure. I, I I don't remember who else actually said, nah, there's a place so and so. So we ended up anyway finding the alcohol. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Bought the alcohol. Yeah. Missions. Now, yeah, we have we had to buy like Buy yeah. just two bottles, yeah. three, four. Uh, we had to buy. Sure. So immediately when we we went back to where we checked in, uh, Citril was like, "Nah, bra, put me on the mic." Yeah. Mm. I'm like, Trill, you haven't even heard the beat, bra. Okay, fine. P press play. Yeah. And then the beat started. Uh, and then Trill said, "Okay, let's record." Plus, Trill does not write. Yeah. Uh, Shall I freestyle? Yeah. You just play a beat. And oh then, wow. Yeah. Sheesh. And then he would sit maybe there pour a drink and drink and drink maybe give him like two three minutes mm. yeah then he he goes to the that's mic. amazing oh. eh? so when you went to the mic <laughs> Mr. Wa, yeah. like, dude yeah. <laughs> you know yeah and after after his chorus and everything so now we started hearing Mpura on the song sure mm. yeah, well, so sure. i was like nah so i went to Neo. Neo, let's call Mpura Mpura. Zuka. sure yeah, well, and now at the time, the, the nicest thing is even the numbers, the vibe, everything was perfect. perfect sure. mm -hmm. Did you know so, Mpura at the time? Yeah, I, I, I knew right. Mpura. Oh, I knew Mpura. Way when, back when, when. Yeah, way back when he was working with Josiah the Disciple. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because even on the album, Laga Buhle, sure. Mama, I'm also there. Yeah. yeah. It's just that I was never credited, to be honest. Right. But I'm there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, an effect. Yeah, yeah. No. even if I can just click one snake. Yeah, <laughs> you're there. <laughs> yeah, credit you must be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I knew Mpura from there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because he was, he liked me and Bushe at the time. I was sure. like, Yo, you guys are dope and everything. So, right. yeah. So, we called Mpura, Mpura, he, he, we fly Mpura in, he came. Immediately when Mpura arrived, Mpura said, put me on the mic. Yeah. Then he said a verse. Everyone in studio, in studio anyway, it was packed. Sure. Mm. I understand, because there was like, I think we were, I think 60 or 50. Oh, wow. Oi, wait, 50? Yeah. 
people. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> oh, dude, fifty people oh. inside a room, and I think it's not even a room. It was like a hall. Nah, not a hall. Konje mm. Oh, you can speak, brother. You can speak. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? And a wuye beka enza mabuye. Yeah. So. Apartment. Apartment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was what like four or five bedrooms. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh wow. Sheesh. And it was packed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so when you record, it's silence. And yeah. now obviously if you flop the <laughs> 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 So you know Pura likes making jokes. Yeah. And he enjoys that. So yeah. he recorded and then we all laughed, even I. Sure. I was like, okay, Pura, all right. Yeah. Sharp, I mixed his vocals and then I started the song from scratch. Sure. Yo, when Pura's verse came through, brah, killer. Mm. I was like, this is the verse of the year. Mm. Really, yeah? Yeah, he killed it. Yeah. Man. And Mpura, Mpura was talented. Mm. I wanna lie. That guy was so, so it's just great experience. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's where we started and say, okay, no, you know what? This studio tour thing actually it's working. Yeah. Mm. Like, oh, because we made Inistawa, we made Amakala, sure. we made Dalu Zobuya Ninina, we made Puse Remix. Because yeah. we were with Tugzin anyway. So after the Inistawa part, then Tugzin came came with the beat. Sure. Puse, Puse. And we're like, right. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know? And Mpura started, I think they started, oh, Cetril was the first one to record. Sure. Mm. And then Mpura, then Rasku. Ah, and then everything made sense. Sure. Yeah, well, so we were like, nah, actually this studio tour thing, it's working. Yeah. Let's continue. Yeah, so that was the vibe anyway. Yeah. Nah. That sounds amazing. Ooh, yeah, like, that sounds so, so it, amazing. It, it, me, I'm sorry. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a boot camp. Of yeah. 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 Just, yeah. How long were you guys there, man? We were there for, I think, four or five days, no? Four to five days. Seven days, oh, first week. time. Because we went there twice. The first one, it was seven. The uh, other one was, I think it was four or five. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But the second one was very strenuous to us. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Because on that other one now, when we went back, the producers, it's me, Tugzin, and Tugzin. Sure. So we are only three. The funniest thing is, you sleep for two hours. Yeah. When you wake up, there's a new vocalist <laughs> oh coming word, from nah. Jobek. Oh he just arrived. He's oh waiting for word. a beat. Yeah. And you can't even say, let me just uh, search uh, the, on the beat that I had. Nah, you sure. must start something now. Wow. Oh, sure. that's, a, that's so hectic. Yo, do, do you it's feel the pressure? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check the time. It's seven a.m. Yeah. No yeah. one is sleeping. Seven a.m. No one slept. No way. Atmosphere, bro. Yeah. Strange. And the vibe was dope. Like yeah. yo, the vibe. Does, was does that nice. energy help when creating yeah, music and stuff like that? So very. Do, so you don't feel pressure when people is not. I mean, like. Nah. like I think even the crowd that we had that day. Mm. Sure. It was. It was one hell of a dope crowd. Yeah, the Devon dope crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, they just just doing, energy. Just yeah, they have energy. nice energy. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, when you start a beat, ne, mm, like yeah. it's so packed. It's so, it was so packed in such a way, but there's noise. So when you start a beat, right. you need to like lower your volume. Mm, and sure. maybe going to start kick, you add packs, packs. By the time we increase the volume, everyone is dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every fun. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so... It actually felt like we were in a club. We were not producing. Sure. It seems but like. But now, yeah. the, the vibe that we got from these people inside the room, yeah. we took that vibe and then we put it on a new song. That's yeah. amazing. Uh, That's amazing. I would love to see you in yeah, studio. Yeah, I would just be part of it. Studio. Yeah, just to I see. Mean, and it's dope because we, don't, we, we were not even like on sitting on piano only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we also got a, a chance to do home as well because yeah. i once produced home years back mm. yeah, you understand so when they played a compete now i was like okay fine let me just relax like i that. can do this yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but it's no also pressure. a vibe though they don't mean it's also a vibe yeah, yeah. yeah it's a vibe yeah. bro like, yeah it's a vibe and the nicest thing is Tugzin produces a very different home home sure yeah like that guy is He's a monster. I won't lie. When it comes to that genre, yeah, he's yeah. very super talented. Okay. Yeah. Well, me, what I'm hearing from you is that you're obviously extremely skilled when it comes to making beats on the spot, you know, yeah. and picking up on like instruments and elements yeah. and stuff. Yeah. To be honest, because yeah. I I feel like at some point, ne, uh, Neo maybe felt to go to now. You know what? 
these boys, I need to actually teach them how to be spontaneous. Sure. You understand? Don't just relax and say, nah, I'll make a beat and send. Yeah. Or maybe when a vocalist comes and then the beat is ready. Nah. Yeah. Learn to actually start something now yeah. quickly. Mm. Mm. Just yeah. 10 minutes and finish. Mm. Mm. Okay, of all the songs that you've heard, maybe the past week, past year, yeah. which song... I know you don't listen to music much. Yeah, yeah. No, but I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you do. You do. Yeah, you know? they're, but they're, of yeah. all the songs you've listened to, let's say the past year, mm. which one has impressed you the most in terms of being a producer, like producing-wise? Oh, um, Tuda. You know um, Tuda? Um, Tuda. Tuda. Mm. Them Tuda. Sure. Mm. That guy, I think he made me fall in love with soulful music. Sure. You understand? Because... You listen to his songs, they have they have a different feel. For me, when I listen to one of his one of his songs, like Emlanje sure. yeah. or there's this other one that I like. Okay, but let me talk about Emlanje. Sure. Mm. If you listen to Emlanje, it gives you an old vibe. Yeah. You old don't school. know how, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. it gives you that old school vibe. Yeah. You feel yeah. you feel as if like this song. You've heard it play before, mm, right. years back. Mm, yeah, mm, you understand? Mm, mm. So that feeling. So I think for me, it was, it's going to be Mtuda. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, Gabza is also dope. Emlanjen Mtuda. Yeah, Emlia, Emlanjen Mtuda. Yeah. And then Gabza is also out, dope eh? when yeah. mixed with Amifaku. Mm. They have a different feel. Mm. Yeah, they have a different feel as well. So I think Gabza and Mtuda, they, they, they too dope. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, I see, man. Now, of all the people you've worked with, Joe, like, I'm surprised you could even make a selection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but let's talk about something yeah. more at home, right? Yeah. You know, TJ, you, you did some amazing stuff. So, yeah. But let's let's bring it back to when it first kind of started off. What was the first song of yours did you hear on the radio for the very, very first time? First time yeah. and, and which station was that? And yeah. what was that feeling? So yeah. tell us about that feeling now. I think the first song that we did and it played on radio and I was like, what? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's... It's it's Lala Malunde with talk music and bushy. Oh, Lala Malunde. It's Lala Malunde. It's Lala Malunde. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was a song. Yeah. It did. It's Lala Malunde. Oh, you know. Bushy. How many years back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You, you, you. I think it was even okay. I think I was doing my first or second year at college. Oh, mm. okay, sure. Yeah, but it, I, but it's long. Hey that, guys, he's a professionalist, guys. He's a professionalist. He's been gra song. he graduates. <laughs> yeah. Graduates. Yeah. But but yeah. but talking about a professional, you qualified in four different aspects yeah, right yeah. now, sir. Yeah. Well what what is that? What yeah. why did you tell the viewers? Because this was yeah, very interesting this when we no, found out. Very curious, yeah. Hey, guys. you know what, guys? Now let me tell you one thing. You know, <laughs> yeah. I feel like the day I make it in music, I'm gonna write a book about my life. Yeah. About, because yo, my life was just like full of drama. Yeah. yeah. About, before I even started doing nursing, mm, sure. I was I was doing uh, mechanical engineering at Toyota SA. Oh wow. Oh, the, the Toyota SA in Alex. Yeah. Yeah. I used to I used to do some internships there, but now the funniest thing is, I never studied science. Yeah. Right. You know. I only did tourism and meds late. Right. So I when I got there, I saw flames. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was failing. Tough. Yeah. 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 So I ended yeah. up saying, nah, you know, that's fine. Yeah. But at least I managed to pass first, I think it was first year, because I only received a certificate. I have a certificate for servicing cars, but just minor service. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And then from there, I worked at High Court. Yeah. yeah. High Court, I worked, I think, for like three months. And then I worked at ShopRite. Yeah. yeah. Then I, w I got this, uh, learn it was an internship sure. for nursing yeah. at Enlesky. I had to study for four years. Did general mm. nursing science. Uh, I did midwifery, of which now we are called a catch or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, and then we, we did also psychiatric. Yeah. Nursing. I also have a qualification for that, and then community nursing. Oh wow! Yeah. And I studied four oh, years, and yes. the time I was DJ, studying, <laughs> now <laughs> I am studying this side, this music. side. I, it's music. Yeah. 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 So I had to find balance, and you know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the nicest thing is, at the time, you know, Bouchier was was not 
that big. Yeah. So I was. It's more like I was still knocking on doors, mm. trying oh. to figure out how the industry works and everything. Yeah. yeah. So now going back to your first song, which radio station? Mm. My first song. Yeah. First okay, song. Okay, my yeah. first song is Sam Sokolo. Mm. Yeah. It's Metro. Mm. Metro. Yeah. yeah. But legit, like that yeah. song is like, and I'm not being funny. Bro, that that, okay. that song is literally <laughs> his favorite like my song. Favorite song. I'm not being his funny, favorite bro. Song, bro. Like, yeah. like, 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 you know, I, I, you must ask my neighbors <laughs> yeah. about your song, bro. Because it's because your alarm. Bro. Yeah. I, yeah. I love it. it you know, Six a.m. Yeah. So I don't know what you did when you made it, but yeah. like, it yeah. was. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's I, what I was saying earlier mm. on about Pori. Mm. Yeah. You understand? I think. I actually sat down, né, to be honest. By the way, I want I once met Pora. I've been wanting to meet him, you know. Yeah. So I I met Pori via Bushi. Okay. How was he? How was he in person, yeah. eh, Compared nah, because he's, he's a nice guy. Really, yeah. He's yeah. a very yeah. chilled guy. Yeah. 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 Shout out Pori. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. With that being said, what I was trying to actually say is that with some Sokolo. I actually studied how he moves and I was like, okay, this guy is smart. Mm. I understand. Sometimes for you to achieve a big milestone, you have to have a big heart mm. and a big room to accommodate other, other people. people as sure. well. So I was like, okay, sharp. This song, I started the song with uh, Cetril. So I was there, but he did not add anything on yeah. the song because on that day we made Actually, we made a lot of hits on that night. Yeah, because they came, they came to camp at Albertin for for a night. Sure. We made Donta Tazel, we made some Sokolo. Yeah. We made uh, Busisiano. And then there was this other song. I think I've all this in one night. Yeah, one night. Mm. One night. Mm. And all of them hit. I can't yeah. believe that. <laughs> Shit. What what yeah, what were you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's amazing. You know when you have a nice a nice vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah. a great company around you, it's it's actually easy. Everything yeah. kind of just, yeah. just yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you, now you just be yourself yeah. and you know trill it na uba wu yo so and then it's just. easy for us to blend. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So with some soko low, I, I actually decided to say, okay, it's fine. I can hear the song. It's nice. Yeah. But I still feel I need, because, you know, in, in, in the industry, if, if, if you have a big heart for other producers, you are able to say, okay, I need a certain lock drum. Sure. Mm. I don't want the lock drum maybe come to the, because yeah. it's soft and you understand. Yeah. Sure. I need a heavy one. And at the time, a person who go to be gazi who go to shy look drum sure. instead of kwam kwam obviously. Oh, right, right, understand? right. Yeah, shout out to that boy. He's really yeah. super talented. Yeah, you understand. So I was like, okay, sharp. Now nah, let me call Tags and DJ. Yeah, I feel like Tags and can kill. You understand when yeah. it comes to to the lock drum. Obviously, when he when he came, we sat down. I want to say I want to say okay. Sure. Nah, here I think I like it like this, this. not like this. Sharp. Right. And then after eating the lock drum, then I said, nah, now I need a person to actually open the song. Feel yeah. like the song is still closed. Close, right. And the person who can open the song is a Rasko Chaos. Sure. Call Rasko. Rasko, boy, let's let's go. And he yeah. killed it. Yeah. Yeah. Rasko killed the song. Yo, he killed yeah. it so the hard. First, yeah. Oh, yeah, that intro actually, it made me realize that the song is going far. far mm. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So when... After Rasko recorded, and then there's Cetril, and then now I sat down, and I was like, okay. Me and Bushi at the time, we were not in good, good, good terms. Sure. But we were still talking. You yeah, yeah, So I was yeah. like, okay. Bushi is my little sister, man. Come on, let me call Bushi. Sure. Add her on the Add song. On the so song. I called Bushi. Bushi, I need you in the studio. And the funny thing, me and Bushi would fight, but that day she was like, okay, no, nah, no problem. What do you want? Yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, it's fine. Let me request. Yeah. Our request to Bush and then she came. Now I think she didn't even take ten minutes. Anyway, I, I used to record with Bush. So sure. I know yeah, you know her yeah. style yeah. and how yeah. she lays it down. So uh, she just lays that verse on the bridge quickly. Yeah. So and then afterwards I was like, Okay, the song is done, I'm gonna take the chorus as it is. Sheesh. I repeat it, then the song is done. Mm. Yeah. So that's how it came about. And then now I can feel that okay. Now the song is complete, yeah. mm. but there's still something that's missing. Yeah. Mm. You understand? So I said, okay, maybe let me call Jezik. 
Yeah. yeah one, he can come and add whatever feel that he sure. feels like he want to add. So I phoned Jezik, he came through. And when I was like, you have all these guys in jail, mm. speed dial. Yeah, yeah, just waiting. Speed dial. Just waiting for TJ to call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but remember, rem- remember, yeah. remember with me, I used to travel with Bootle during her come up. Mm. Sure. So I would make relationships. Ah, okay, so now she's okay. big. When she's big, you know, by the time, I think during the time when I was, I was often seen with Bootle traveling, I'm a roto. Sure, mm. yeah, yeah. I remember I once... First time me seeing Amarot, it was in Jezik's studio in Alex. Sure. Those guys would come there and chill. Right. Not not even record or do anything, just chill. And they would admire other people and say, you know, yeah, hey, you guys are Kidding cool. It. You guys are going far. You mm. guys are dope. And I think that spirit, Spabege yeah. Laba Corner right now, oh, you understand? Because okay. why their hearts were open Good. for everyone. Yeah. They were not like, mm. nah, Jesse, why are you recording these guys? We are yeah. here. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So for me, actually, okay, you know what? These guys actually, they dope. Mm, yeah. 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 Because yeah. it's very rare to mm. find people in studio who are going to say, hey, you, you have a nice voice to yeah. 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 So I was like impressed. So now when Bukhe pops, Sure. And then now these guys they also pop. Sure. Mm. Pasta now there's you understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the connection becomes easy because mm. sure. I've been with them, them, you you with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. before studio, they come yeah. up. It's more like yeah. I've been with all of them before they come yeah. up. Sure. So now I feel like okay, now now I need to shine. Yeah. It's easy for me to call them and say, Ah, gents, mm. please, man, let's, let's do, do this. Yeah. yeah. So same as Jezik. Mm. But yeah. they jumped on happily, eh? But the yeah. Looks right, eh? Yeah, and in the industry, I feel like if you come and you know. You don't have bad vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people like that's you, proper, especially the, the on the artist side. Yeah, yeah that's I know. Great. It seems like it's just a bunch of artists you've worked with. Yeah, but you have of worked, all of them. I've worked with a lot of people. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Out of that. all of those guys, everyone you can think of in your mind right now. Nah. Yeah. Which artist left the biggest impression on you? The biggest one. Uh, it has to be Setri. Setri. Oh, really? Eh? Why you say that? Even if you can see on my, if you can see on my songs, yeah, most mm. hit songs that I have. Setri. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That guy is one. He's one super talented guy with a yeah. very big heart. Nah. Understand? Ah, his heart that, must come here. Yeah. He must, <laughs> come here. <laughs> he must be on sad. this podcast. It's a thrill, you heard. <laughs> yeah. It's sad because you know when when you look someone from far. Yeah. You don't see those qualities, but spend yeah. more time. I've with spent, I've spent a lot of time with Cetril, and sure. even with Cetril, you know the nicest thing is I met Cetril at Mtuda. Okay. When I was working with Bukhe, they were doing John Week. Sure. Me and Bukhe that day we came because Bukhe, Bukhe had to record one That yeah. day Mtuda, I think Mtuda made two hits in one night. It was, it was John, John Week, Week yeah. and, and one Okay. Yes. Yeah. I can't yes. believe this. Eh? Yeah. I mean, like, so it's, it's, at that time, Central was not that big. You understand? Yeah. So we, we actually got a chance to speak to each other. And I was like, okay, bro, you know what? Let me have your number. And then I, okay, now I'm sure. gonna, let me take yours. And then yeah. we started conveying. But not much at that time because now I feel like he was busy with other stuff. And right. I was also busy with my stuff. But after I left the booklet, then he came back and he was like, dude. You 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 are talented, and I'm gonna show you that you are talented. Yeah, you're gonna make the song, and the song's gonna be big. And I was looking at this guy, and this guy's dead. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pelamina yeah. was about to actually quit music. Yeah, really? Mm. No way. He sir. was the better Yeah, engine. last year I, yeah. I was I was actually in the process to say, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Damn. No way. Because now I feel like this music thing it's eating my soul. Yeah. yeah. I'm done. So Cetril was like, bruh, we're going to do this. Mm. Then we made some so called, oh, no, we made, uh, yeah. I'm a, okay, we made Don Tatazel up. Sure. And of which it was also one of the biggest songs. And then even on the album that I dropped, there's a lot of songs there with them. So for me, it's going to be Cetril. Mm. He always comes through for me whenever he sees or feels that I'm down. Right. Or he understands yeah. there's something that's going on. He would call me and say, dude, 
no, 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 pick yourself up. Sure. Mm, pick yourself up, let's go, we're doing this. Yeah. So I think with, with that being said, I think Cetril. Yeah, those, there's those special days where you need that pick up. You need yeah, that. Yeah, that's 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 so, changing. you know, well, shout out to Cetril for yeah, keeping uh, the talented G- yeah. TJ, hey, TJ in the game. Hey, in the mean, game. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, I can't believe you said you yeah. were going to give up music Easy. because because you're very talented, so, hey, you know. Now, for a limited time, get your exclusive photo shoot for only 2,450 Rand and get a free A1 canvas print. This special includes 20 high resolution images, 3 hours of editing and retouching, 2 background options of your choice, includes photographer, gear hire, assistant, and refreshments. Get your exclusive photo shoot done at Kong Republic Studios based here in Kyalami Midrand. But tell us now. TJ, as a producer, sir, yeah. do you have any secret sauce you always <laughs> put into your music where yeah. it makes it a TJ track, That's whether it's a TJ snare yeah. or yeah. a drum or, or uh, a particular me, sound? With me, vocal. Vocals, vocals. Right? Yeah. yeah. I wanna a lot of people who know me, they'll tell you that, uh, TJ, you can do whatever, but that guy with vocals. Yeah. 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 I have, like, before, if, maybe let's just say I'm doing a beat or maybe I find there's a beat. When I listen to that beat, it's more like, I already know how the vocals must go, sure. how mm. the mu- the vocals must be arranged, Amazing. how they must they must sound because sure. they are baking vocals, they are lead vocals, you understand, and mm. then there are those ad libs. Mm. Yeah. So mm. they have a, they must have a different channel with different effects. So three kinds of vocals. You look at it as three yeah, kinds of vocals. Yeah, look at mm. that. That's amazing. Yeah, because I used to sing choir, so obviously mm. there's yeah. bass, there's alto, yeah. there's yeah. tenor, yeah. soprano. So they all sing together, but now yeah. they must make sure that there's harmony. harmony. Yeah. But it's crazy because you're using the principles of such a formal, uh, you know, musical. Uh, genre to yeah. to to create um, yeah, gospel and uh, g- like uh, orchestra yeah, 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 yeah. and and using that and you implement it with this uh, within ama piano in yeah. such a sleek and smooth so that's way, where i you know? saw that piano it's it's it accommodates every sound actually mm, you can mm. you can come with r&b right now we're gonna have an r&b ama piano. piano song <laughs> come with gospel we're gonna have a gospel song ama that piano. is ama piano Come with any genre, mm. <laughs> you know, any genre. Yeah. I'm a piano will accommodate. That's where I actually saw, okay, there's a loophole here in my piano. So let me just rather use my history of choir. Sure. Then, mm. And I think a lot of people does that. Even Josiah, the disciple, mm. Sure. Mm. he used to sing in choirs, that guy. Yeah. yeah. So he has that experience as well. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so good. You know, th- I, I must say, this conversation has been very, very interesting. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I, I, I mean, like, I wasn't you know, expecting Because, stories, you know, you hear man. the stories. Yeah. We know, no one sees the yeah. stories or hears the stories, right? Yeah. We hear the music and we love it. Love and, we like, it. and we always, like, talk Jeez. about what could have happened making it. But when you yeah. actually hear the story, it's so unreal, you know? But and <laughs> I think behind every hit song, yeah. Yeah, there's a very big story to tell. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. And I feel like this, this is a good platform whereby producers are given a chance to actually express because in, in most cases we can do a song now sure. i do a song now with Cetril. tomorrow Cetril is big and then me and i'm like there by the corner yes yeah. then so i feel like platforms like these they actually give a producer an opportunity yes. to actually say, you know what, because we producers, we design a sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're paint with sounds, yeah. eh? you're yeah. paint design with sound. sound. Yeah. 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 It's like we yeah. are designers, yeah. Yeah. so you understand. So it's a good platform that now producers now, I feel like a lot of producers are going to be recognized as well. No, that's great. That's Bro. great. I'm glad you're feeling that way, sir, because, <laughs> I mean, uh, we got something in the pipelines as well. Uh, just in general, yeah. uh, with what's what's happening yeah. uh, for producers as well, because yeah. we do believe, like producers play such a big and important yeah. part, and nobody nobody uh, sees that that part. They always they see are the not artists even given enough credit, credit yeah. yeah. Credit, yeah. Uh, uh, and and we feel personally like you know the producers is the one that kind of like you said you called mm, yeah. everyone, everyone you put this you together you already know what you want you see, yeah. Yeah. Pe- people don't see that side of it you know they they, they, they think the artist yeah. and everything flows in the artist but you know um, after working with uh, with Nova and uh, you know Nova being a um, a bit of a celebrity in his own right, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. uh, 48,000 yeah, yeah. followers on Facebook, you know, <laughs> also verified, but, but yeah. you know, the thing is, 
it's unbelievable sir, what you guys could do and how you'll do it mm -hmm. and um, you know there, there's certain things uh, you know I want to touch on for example most producers use fruity loops right and you, you, you know what you want you yeah. know the sound you're trying to create and stuff like that do you see platforms like logic or pro tools um, do you see there's a viable platform to make I'm a piano. I'm a piano. I think FL Studio. But well, this is my opinion. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, 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 and yeah. you know what? There's no, yeah. there's no right answer. You know, this, you is, know, this is you as a yeah, producer, you your know, take I, on it. Yeah, you know why I'm saying mm. uh, uh, FL Studio? Because now, if you go to the hood, yeah. ne, you'll find a 10 year old boy there. You understand? He's producing using FL. Sure. Maybe he has a mini laptop or yeah. whatever, but he's producing. And he's comfortable with what Fruity Loops is doing. Because sure. you go to the hood, it's only Fruity Loops, mm, you know. Mm. Pro Tools, it's for like... More like commercials and... Nah, for cheese boys. <laughs> cheese boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. I'm I'm sure sure like, like, yeah. from the hood, you understand? Yeah. 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 We don't, like, even if you wake up in the morning and you go to your dad or your mom, you're like, Mom, please buy me uh, Pro Tools. Or like, <laughs> yeah. Understand. Yeah. So already yeah. you are limited. So yeah. the only the only chances that you have is okay. Let me just go to TJ. TJ is using FM. Yeah. Then they come. Anjay, I'm please send me the FL Studio. Sure. What, what? Mm. I think that's what's happening. You yeah. understand? And mm. then obviously the FL Studio is gonna dominate. Yeah. Mm. So mm. even with me, if I go to a studio and then I find that now they're using like a Mac or whatever, mm. and it's not even FL. I'm not gonna. Really, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, kill, it kills your rhythm. Yeah, of the I'm gonna whole tell thing. you, like, ah, bro, where's FL? <laughs> where's, yeah, yeah. Where's, where's the PC? Where's the <laughs> FL? Yeah, 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 you know? FL. yeah, so I think, I think FL Studio is yeah, your, is your tool yeah. of choice, yeah. Yeah. and it's easy because yeah. you can even see you, you need packs, packs are here, you need VSTs are here, everything yeah. is mm. just yeah. like mm. on your eyes. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. And all the, of all the DJs you've worked with and all the producers you've worked with, they all use FL. Yeah, most, most, most yeah, yeah, most. But in this, I think I've attended maybe out of hundred percent of the studio session that I've had. Sure. Eighty percent. FL. FL the studio. Whole. Really? Eh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, what? Some they even have tattoos. Really? <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. That's they commitment. They know themselves. They <laughs> have tattoos. Yeah, commitment yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. Because music, music saved us, especially yeah, on my man. piano. Mm, it, it, yeah. it actually played a huge part in the hood and mm, yeah. I don't want to lie me I appreciate I'm a piano yeah, mm. ah, yeah, we, really if you're South African yeah, and you yeah, don't, don't yeah. there's something there's wrong, something wrong, wrong. <laughs> really, really. Yeah, there's an issue there's an issue but are you a fan of live performance you like performing too? yeah live yeah. performance I, I, I normally go to all news or so it's all news or I think it's all news right? yeah there's there's like uh, an event called Old News. Anyway, it's organized. It's being organized by one of my friends, Prince Timo. Sure. Yeah. So there you get to spot the talent. Oh, okay. So me, I think I I like going there yeah. like at times just to see check mm, check. check. Mm. Yeah, hey, there's a best guitarist yeah. there. <laughs> hey, there's yeah. a best pianist there. Yeah. Yeah. So you are able to actually spot talent, and yeah. you you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed on 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 that platform because yeah. you meet a lot of great producers who are not given enough credit. Sure, mm. sure. Like you can just meet someone there playing keys, and you're like, "Yo, you play nice." Yeah. And then now, when you search and find the background, this person has been working with Mafigizo or no, from. You yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just that maybe he was not given enough credit, credit. or maybe he was given credit, but then sure. as life continues, you know, he had yeah. to take his own route and it did not work out or whatever mm. but he's there yeah so when i go there sometimes i would sit and just listen and say okay i need the numbers for that guy i need the number the whatsapp number for that guy and that guy sure. already i know i'm no. gonna use so you walking in there strategically yeah, yeah. you yeah. you walk in there you yeah. know okay cool that guy sounds good and yeah right. wow you already because I feel, like, yeah. 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 I feel like in piano yeah. there's still plenty of room, room. For, mm. for for coming okay we we do have the pioneers mm. sure. don't get me wrong we do have the pioneers and we, we respect them for what they did of course you know, yes mfr m2 yeah, Kabza, sure. Josiah, mm. Jizik, you know all yeah. of them but now i feel like as 
the music does not stand in one place. No, not at all. Like, yeah. yeah, it's no. emotion. It, mm. it, it evolves. Mm. Yeah, it, it evolves. evolves yeah. In time yeah. As well. yeah. So you need to also be creative. Yeah. Yeah. Because as South Africa, remember the piano is only from here. Mm. Yeah. So we can't allow other countries to be more creative than yeah. us. Mm. For sure. Mm. Same as hip hop. Hip hop, sure. we know it's from the States. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We can have hit songs here, but whenever they drop, we must yeah. listen. Mm. Mm. So mm. even in South Africa, I feel like if the producers can unite and mm. you know I mean, I, mean I don't like fighting yeah i i, I hear you yeah. you know you know in the in 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 the us you get people like um like 40 and drake yeah. credits uh, a lot of his success to 40 right yeah. and um i mean uh, we we talk about for example like all producers um, making a success for themselves in the US, but mm. why? Why do you think it's so challenging within South Africa for particularly producers? Because, mm. I mean, like you said, you know, I'm a piano is like from a sound point of view is the most leading sound in the world, in right. my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Listen, to me, I'm biased a bit I'm because I'm, I'm you, South man. African. Yeah, I'm there and with I'm, you. I support it 100. <laughs> percent But yeah. but see, yeah, it's it's common fact. It's changing up. Drake sure. is doing call outs. You know, our guys is getting re recognized mm. all over the world. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's unbelievable what our music is actually doing. Yeah. Uh, I'm a piano as a genre. So, what do you think? from an industry point of view, we could change or break the narrative where a producer is almost as recognized as an yeah, artist or on the same thing. level. Because to make Ama Piano beat is not like doing a simple hip hop yeah, beat or doing, beat, yeah. it's so, it's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, like- It takes a lot. It takes a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Because yeah. you yeah. need to design. Mm, sure. as, mm. it's, it's like, I agree with you. Like mm. you saying the hip hop, you know, in, in, on, the, on the hip hop side, there was, a point in time whereby there was an 808. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's a new baseline mm. mm. and yes. people went crazy. Yeah. So same as on piano. at first there was no lock drum. Mm. Sure. They were using e flute mm. of which for bass. And then now sharp apparently do TRP. Sure. And on of which I believe do TRP is very dope. Right. Do TRP apparently is the one who came with the lock drum. Yeah. Okay. And then after the lock drum now, you know, people some people was a bit skeptical to say, hey, mm. should I we should feel I like not, you yeah. know, other producers, we feel like I now you're losing it. Yeah. You can't you know it's he was actually now opening more doors Dog, because yeah. now that lock drum actually changed the game. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Yeah, it changed the game. So mm. I feel like if other producers can learn to open their heart for other producers, mm. as producers unite, mm. you understand? Because if now I make a song, let's sure. take now I make a song with Rasko, mm. sure. Rasko mm. Chaos, it's a nice song, you know, we release the song. You know, in most cases, Rasko is going to get more credit than me. Mm. Yeah. Why? Because the fans, they now want to listen to the message. Mm. You know, they've been dancing to my piano. Sure. Mm. Now, they only, the only thing that they want is the message. Yes. Mm. Now, yeah. mm. If your message is said, they want to understand why, why are you saying mm. you are happy. Why are you happy? Yeah. You understand? Like yeah. the song, I see happy. Yeah. It makes yeah. you feel... Like, you know what, you can tell your love and hey, say, oh, mm. sweet ass. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. yeah, so I feel like as producers, if we sing a good more, then if someone yeah. has a hit song yeah. with a different sound, mm. they they dope, they nice. Yeah. I mean, look at now, there's Melo and Sleazy, they yeah. came mm. with yeah. Skeetcha. Mm. Mm. Sure. And that thing bangs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? So it's pointless for one to actually have bad vibes towards sure. the boys and mm. say, nah, yeah. they're actually ruining the piano. No one, I feel like no mm. one is a master when it comes to music. Yeah. Because someone can kill you with, with a hit song just using four elements. Mm. Mm. You understand? Music is like that. So, yeah, yeah but we, what can we say? It's the no, piano but, but, that we're in. But, but, but you know, the thing is, DJ, it's so good to hear a predominant producer like yourself, yeah. very well known, that's open and don't like the, the negativity yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and yeah, open don't to... Like to, to being positive and yeah. creating like a family, yeah. you know? And I think it's good because it also uh, adopts the whole I'm a piano mentality from, you know, artist's point of view. Mm. And and I think producers probably in I'm a piano could do this better than the guys in hip hop. Yeah. You, know, you know, so sure. if anything, I think this is an amazing yeah. time and it's a good and thing, a, you know? And the other thing, look mm. look at hip hop. Now, the, the other thing that made hip hop to actually dominate and be more interesting, mm. it's the fights. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's <laughs> hip hop yeah, yeah hip hop is you like know that. what i mean yeah. it's hip hop yeah. so we must not take piano yeah. as if it's 
it's hip hop mm. as well. Where sure. by now I'm saying now I'm fighting with yeah. with Tagzin, I'm fighting with Mtudo, I'm fighting yeah. with Rasko. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Mm. That mm. whole thing it's unnecessary. It really is. Yeah. You understand? Because mm. right now I feel like we have we we actually draw an attention for from the world and we got that attention of course, now. Yes, yeah. The question is, what do you do? do yeah. Are we going to fight and then and say, I'm better than this, I'm, yeah. better, I'm better than this yeah. one? It's nah, pointless. No, nah, I, I agree. I agree it's pointless because I can say I'm better than I'm better than you. Mm. Yeah. Tomorrow you mm. drop a song and you are number one. Number one. Mm. Sure. And I still say, yeah, I'm better than you. Drop the other one, you are number two. Your song, the <laughs> first one is number one, the other one is number two. So it's pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Point Next month I drop, I'm number one. So at the end of the day, guys, music is music. Let's yeah. just receive music, enjoy music. Well, you'll get it. You'll hurt it. You're <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> hey. No, like, no. I can see why you are very successful in the stuff that you do, man. Because yeah. I have to congratulate you. First yeah. Of all. Yeah, thank you. First of all, for getting. <laughs> Getting here, you know, if your your album, you released yeah. an album, one million I'm a piano yeah, seconds. seconds. Yeah. Well done. Kings man. of Surface, yeah. Congratulations. We do our numbers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we know you have one over one point four million. million. Yeah, I think now on Spotify it's sitting on two point oh, 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 look at that. Just on that album. Yeah. Oh two my god. Congratulations. 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 See there. Well yeah, done. How's how's it feel? Oh, yeah. how's, that's a uh, massive yeah. success Yo, because like, this is. Am I correct in saying this is your mm, first, your own first album? album. album. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know it was a collab, but it's really much your own first album. Yeah, mm. I actually, I because now I started working on this album with Tagzin around March. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You know, so I sat down and I was like, okay, for me, for Tagzin, he's been releasing. Mm. Yeah, mm. he has like I don't know how many, how many songs or albums sure. or EP, but he has a lot because he's been in the game. Yeah, I won't. So I was like, nah, I feel like, can this album be my baby? Mm. Yeah. Let me now drive it. Let me actually drive the sound. Mm. Sure. So mm. that's mm. when I started going to, to T-Man. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to T-Man SA. He's one of the dopest T-Man producers. T-Man SA. Yeah. Shout out to you, yeah. Uh, Did you expect yo, the success? To be, honest, yeah. to be honest, I never expected this. Mm. The number two point for me, it was all about hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was all about hard work, and I'm still gonna work hard. Mm, mm. But I I do appreciate the the, the listeners there at home, yeah, the consumers, people who consume my music. Thank you so much. Shout out, shout out, love. Yeah, I'm actually I'm curious about the title. Mm. One million, I'm a piano say. Is it really one million? Yeah, on the dot. Yeah. Jeez. And the reason why I said one million I'm happy in a second, if you listen to that album, yeah. I feel like the there's like I'm a the whole genre of I'm a piano in one. Sure. Mm. There's Afro, there's pop, you understand? Yeah. There's like tribal, yeah. there's yeah. like everything. Yeah. I actually now took every sound that I can think of mm, into mm. one place. Into one thing, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, now, yeah. let me say. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> then Kings of the Surface. Yeah, so Kings of the Surface, it yeah. was me and Tagzin sure. when we we created a name. Because Shout we out did. to him too, because he was yeah, a big part. Man. He was a pa- part, part of the of the album as well. Shout sure. out to the boy. Yeah, so we, we, we actually came with the name because we avoided having like one name like just disciples so mm. we're like now nah, let's rather have a name for collabo mm. right. where, where we know if maybe people are happy and people they like now nah, we want kings of the surface back we are able to say okay tags in let's sit let's down do and do another yeah. one yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 kings yeah, of the so surface I'm like that yeah up here but that's <laughs> amazing i mean like <laughs> did, did, b- did you really expect that, I mean, um, your song to be over two million? I mean, like, w- w- was it a given, TJ? Did you know it as a producer yeah. deep down yeah. inside it was going to happen? That's some song, isn't it? Yeah. About? Well, we, well the, the, whole, the whole the album, album yeah, had the over album. two million, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is amazing, which is, I think yeah. it's absolutely amazing. But right. did you know the album in general mm. is going to have such success? Huh? So with me, now, what I've mm. picked up, uh, through the past, while I was working at Joe Beach and Trauma mm. Casualty, sure. I would go with a laptop. They would even tell you there. I, w- yeah. I always carried my laptop at work. So mm. we would yeah. work, work, and then maybe during our spare time, lunch or whatever, I start producing. Really? Uh, and then I would make them listen. So that's why I actually picked it up that, you know what, maybe there's this something special about me that I have because sure. each and every doctor and nurse that I would make them listen to whatever song, they'd yeah. be like, 
yo, this song is nice. I would actually, you know, stream the song. Yeah. 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 And the funny yeah. thing is, I just made the, the beat now. Now, yeah. now, yeah. now, now yeah. yeah. Maybe I had a vocal during the day that was just lying around. Sure. And most probably it was Bushle's vocals. Yeah. Because Bushle, Bushle is super talented. Yeah. Right now. Mm. yeah. Yeah. But at the time, it was easy for me because now I would listen to her voice and then get a certain feel, then I produce. Sure. But I mean, like. Yeah. So I, I expected it at some point that maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe I might, I might have one big song someday. I don't know. Well, sure. well, you definitely do. You, <laughs> you definitely do. do. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I yeah. have yeah. big songs. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 well, then multiple. I mean, like this is, I don't know. Um, Some sogola. Yeah, I don't know whether you could. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is yeah. in a restaurant. <laughs> in in four ways. Oh, yeah. he was at that <laughs> restaurant this <laughs> month. Yeah. <laughs> can you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. You know he was having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? so, so, I mean, yeah. like, look at this. 11 months in, yeah. I'm sitting at a restaurant with my wife, I'm having dinner, yeah. and 11 months in, your song is still playing organically. Yeah. In, yeah. Dude, we're talking about in, like, in, a, in a, this is this is sand and yeah. you know? It's timeless Four music. Is, it, yeah. It's unbelievable, yeah. bro. And you it know? was also on, on Afrima Awards. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Afrima Awards, they were actually playing it as a picture. But, but I'm sorry to cut you. Everybody but he was loving it. There, oh, was, yeah. there was black people there. Oh, there was white yeah. people there. There was yeah. Indian people there. Yeah. And right, everybody, was, everybody was having a jam to <laughs> yeah. it, bro. It's really me. Nobody knows this <laughs> is my best song. You know? Yeah, that's like, his favorite song. You know, like, like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm so excited that, oh, no, you're coming to the studio <laughs> soon as well. Yeah. You know? so, like, it, it, no, but so, honestly, you know, congratulations yeah. on this massive yeah, success, so you know. Um, you know, when we talk about some, some Sokolo, you, you, you make it seem like it's just a easy feed what you achieve but mm. realistically sir you got 2.3 million mm, views yeah. on an album cover alone, alone. just on youtube yeah. so i'm not i'm not counting <laughs> any streams of yeah. uh, uh, of uh, any spotify any stream Apple music, music, yeah. right? streams i'm just talking about YouTube, YouTube, ah, youtube as a cover yeah. 2.2.3 million yeah. sir yeah. congratulations <laughs> firstly so i mean like much. that's that's yeah. really nauseating amount and of I numbers and i think that you know? also actually uh, it made me be in a position whereby at least I am I am now recognized better because I remember even the song that I did with with Davido, mm. sure. uh, Jezik. Yeah, mm. yeah, Jezik phoned me. He was like, "Dude, I need a beat now, urgently." Yeah, I'm, uh, there's a surprise that I have for you. So yeah. I was like, "Surprise." Yeah. Okay, who's gonna be on the beat? <laughs> yeah. It was like focal. So I said, hey, I'm like, okay, focal stick. Yeah. Now I need to think Pitori. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And by the time I'm, fr I'm from Fos Loras, by the sure. way. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now I have to think Pitori. Sure. So I was like, Pitori. Okay, there was this other song, Foka and Vicro Deep. I actually loved that song. Sure. So I said, now, nah, you know what? There's a song, that the, there's a beat that I did with Carl Tonic. Let me take that beat mm. and send him. Ah, the following day it was a mess. Mm. They, they even went live with the song. Now it's a complete song. They recorded and oh, everything. Mm. So I ended up scoring a feature because of that. You understand? Like yeah. I was saying, like if you have a room for other producer, they would also have a room for you as well. Mm. Because I, to be honest, I don't know what made Jesse to call me and say, bro, send me a beat. Mm. Right. Because he could have easily... Called, called anyone else, yeah. or anyone mm. else, you yeah. understand? Mm. But at least he he had that heart to say, you know, I'm putting TJ on. This no, song. you're leaving an impression, yeah. and you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You know, you're you leaving an impression. <laughs> 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 if he's calling you yeah. like that, yeah. personally, you mm. know that he knows. Like, yeah, he, yeah. So, it clearly wasn't a wrong decision. I mean, yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, it worked out very well, sir. But yeah. when, particularly on YouTube, when did that growth? start because you said it wasn't immediate from the beginning yeah, right it wasn't so, so when did that massive growth start and do you know what kind of triggered it yeah i think it it, it also uh it was also triggered by us attending few gigs mm. and remember at the time mm. we would attend gigs and we were not even paid Mm. Yes. Yeah. Then you just ask, now nah, I cannot just come and play like at least three, four songs. Really? Sure. Fine. Yeah. You know. I, you know, know, I find it hard that you, that so, yeah, I find it hard that you, you did free events. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, like, I mean, like, because no one can get a free event now with TJ. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it's amazing yeah. that so you hustled huh, yeah. to get yes. with us. Yeah. And the other thing is, you need to be strategic. You understand? Yeah. Because mm. I cannot just take uh, a free gig for 
just for a rider to say now they will give you a Hennessy sure, like a Monster only. Mm. Now nah, with me, I have like I have. It's more like I have a plan to say okay, if I'm taking this free gig, yeah. what am I gonna achieve? Sure. So I must make sure that when I come to your event, it's packed. Number one. Sure. Number mm. two. I'm gonna play exclusives only. Mm. Sure. Why? Mm. Because I'm trying to sell myself. Sure. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna play exclusive. So mo in most cases, when I play some so called, mm. I would yeah. see people like Shazam and everything. Uh, and yeah. People were excited. I was like, okay. Uh, mm. Yeah, that's okay. how I knew it was gonna be big. Yeah. But you know, you point. you're saying that that's actually a bit of uh, insight to how you become a successful G uh, DJ because you mentioned a few points there. You play only. What's Exclusive. Unique, yeah, exclusive yeah, so, and what's yeah. unique to you. That's very interesting. Is that like a rule of thumb for you, sir? Yeah, with not not always though, yeah. but I, I actually check where I play because maybe let's just say you were booked at um uh, let's take umshupelo. Mm. Sure. Yeah, umshupelo. I can't play Kabza's song, it's gonna be there. Right, mm. right. I can't play them too, I can't play, you understand? Yeah. Because now even people are gonna be like, ah, this dude. Play your stuff. Let's yeah, see what you have. Yeah, so yeah. It's, for me, it's more like mm, a mm. competition when we go to Mshupe. So sure. I need to pull up my songs. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. When I go there and then I play. But you know, from this uh, interview, uh, the TJ that I came to know is, you know, you think twice and act once. Uh, yeah. You're very strategic yeah. in everything you what do. What mistake yeah. you fall. I mean, like yeah. with me, uh, I actually had a lot of downfalls in, in this game. Yeah. I started working with Bukhle. It was coming on all right. And then all of a sudden, the relationship was spoiled. Yeah. I worked with Jessica LM, by the way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now she's in electro mode, I think. Yeah. Also with her. But me and her, we're fine. It's sure. just that I feel sure. like uh, she has her own path. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I met Nkosazan. Yeah. Kosazana as well. I'm still with Kosazana. I'm working with Kosazana. She's my makala, that one. Sure. Mm. Kala, kala, sure, kala, yeah. sure. She, yeah. Me and her, the relationship is very tight. Properly. And then I have Basitana as well. Sure. Mm. She sings on Dalingu and Master Cage. Ah, yes. 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 And actually, I orchestrated she. that song. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> 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 I was there. I the one who called yeah. Kosazana, Basitana, yeah. and Obi Vele. So, yeah. And TJ, then you, you the hooker. All well, these guys. Yeah, TJ, you know, we need to call TJ <laughs> before we start doing it. Yeah, now yeah. Master KG knows. He can tell yeah. you. I even told him, Master KG played two beats. I was, he played the first one, he played the second one. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. I was like, the first beat and Kosazan, sure. they're going to link. Like, yeah. mm. And Basitana, Ed Z, mm. and also Obi. Because I remember it was, even Azana, Azana was, was in studio. Sure. 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 Yeah. Mm. But mm. I think she never recorded. So we only... The, the only people who recorded was Nkosaza, Ana, Basitana, and Obi. Hey. The song was powerful. You know so, all the name drops you've made just in this yeah. entire interview. It's unbelievable. Also, even <laughs> Too many I've worked people. with uh, Lucille Slade. She's, yeah. she's dope as well. She's dope as well. And then now, I think the other boy that they must look out for, it's Rasko Chaos. Yeah. Yeah, Rasko Chaos is super talented as yeah. well. I still have another vocalist called She's Busy. Yeah. Yeah, she's busy is one of the biggest vocalists mm. in twenty eighty maybe. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. It's gonna be very big. Busy, she's super man. talented as well. Yeah. If not this year. Yeah. Yeah. And then who else? You have a lot of vocals. <laughs> man, yeah, you, <laughs> you, your, your contact yeah, list is easy as well. Your contact yeah. list is a flex. Yeah, like flex straight. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's just contact list. I think it's the it's a studio list. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like the, the, yeah. The, the, you know because I'm, I don't want to see if that if just if that was just what TJ who TJ worked with. I want to see his contact list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. you know it's gonna have too many. Maybe, maybe we should, but you yeah. know it, it's 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 been like such a pleasure oh, conversation. Such a good one, man. Yeah. Thank you so really, much. Really no, a, a lot of insights and definitely, you yeah. know, into you, your life, you know, your fans and all that. But yeah, man, anything you want to say to your fans, anything you want to... I want to say thank you yeah. for, for, for giving me all this platinum. Sure. <laughs> yeah, multi-platinum. Yeah, platinum. Multi -platinum. platinum I'm going to have, I'm gonna have like five or six, mm. five or six mm. or seven, if not mistaken. Yeah. Plugs. Amazing. Plugs. And that album on um, one million on my piano second sure. one, I'm expecting at least... Eight plugs from that. Sure. And one eight. eight. Amazing. Yeah, then I'm going to add some so called Louis sure. Mister. I'm going to plug them like this. Then. No, definitely. My first man. attempt in the music industry. Yeah. So I feel like I, I still, I, I'm still going to do more. 
Sure. Oh, yeah. I know. So, I, yeah. Oh, jeez, we know you're going to do more. Do more. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much to everyone who's streaming my music. Yeah. Uh, and those who don't follow me, please follow me. Follow, follow <laughs> guys. Instagram, follow the yeah. things. Double E underscore yeah. J-A-Y dot S-A. Yeah. Yeah. And then on Facebook, it's just TJ. But you're going to see the ad cover of some so-called. Some <laughs> yeah. so-called is the, it's a nasty yeah. yeah. It's an anthem. Yeah. 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 That actually yeah. made me, yeah. <laughs> On Instagram as well, it's TJ Twain as well. Yeah. Sure. But TJ, just uh, the last thing, just to let the fans know, what's yeah. the plans from you? So what yeah. could we expect from expect, the future yeah. of TJ? Yeah. Yo, this year it's going to be hectic. Mm. I don't want to lie. Yeah. Oh, and I actually forgot there's a boy called Lee Sex. Yeah. yeah. He plays a sexer. Yeah. Watch out for that boy. I'm giving you guys six months. Watch out for that. Lee Sex, eh? Yeah. Lee Sex. L-E space hey. S-A-X. Yeah. yeah. Hey, cool name, eh? No, bro. Yeah. So there are other vocalists that I didn't mention. I do appreciate them. They sure. dope as well. Yeah. It's just that I feel like, you know, the timing as well. They can't all... Like be famous yeah. at the same time. Mm. Sure. Mm. You're gonna have your fair yeah, chance. Everyone has their moments. Their yeah. moments. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, so it's definitely your moment, yeah, you know. But know. Uh, yeah. from our side, man, from Kong Republic, we'd like to wish you all the best, all the sure. success. Wherever yeah. we can help, please do knock at our doors. Feel comfortable yeah, to whenever. Yeah. But from our side, sir, we'd like to offer you a photo shoot, a free photo shoot Ooh, valued yeah. to 2,500 hey, rand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. That's, you a, know? that's the least we can <laughs> do. That's the least we can you do. Know? People coming on our podcast, yeah. you showing us support as much yeah. as we're showing you support. Well, really? we're looking yeah. forward to see what TJ is going to do to the country sure. and I'm a piano in general. We are a big advocate and supporter of you, yes. sir. We really, really yeah. are. And, uh, Jan, there's a few things behind the scenes, behind the cameras yeah. we're actually talking we'll about talk as about, well. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. thank you very much, and it was honestly very eye-opening yeah, and such a pleasure yeah. very pleasure man <laughs> but yeah guys on that note you already know what it is we have the best in the industry coming into kong republic and right now tj was the one who blessed us with his presence and yeah we appreciate the moments all the memories and tj all the best to you mm, my g you so everybody much. back thank home you. conquerors <laughs> safe <laughs> Kong Republic I like Kong. Speaking your truth on the mic Kong. Hit the subscribe and like Time to Kong. Kong.